Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna do a quick overview of the 2023 MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro, Apple updated the processors. So now you can get M2 Pro with up to a 12 core CPU, up to 19 GPU cores, and up to 32 gigabytes of unified memory with 200 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. So that is part of the new things of the M2 Pro. So we're gonna scroll down here and here's the M2 Pro chip, and here's some of its specs. So Apple is basically taking the chips to the next level with this new MacBook Pro, and the same goes for M2 Max. M2 Max comes with a 12 core CPU, up to 38 GPU cores, and up to 96 gigs of unified memory, which is double the previous model, which was capped at only 64 gigabytes of unified memory. So when it comes to RAM in M2 Max, it's a big jump. And M2 Max has 400 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. So these are monsters of a chip. And actually, the base model MacBook Pro for M2 Pro comes with 10 core CPU, which is higher than last year's eight core CPU, and now comes with 16 GPU cores. So you're getting a better deal for your money this time around than you did last year. Now let's talk about the display. So with the MacBook Pro, this also covers the 2021 version, is that the Liquid XDR display. So this display offers ProMotion with a variable refresh rate. This means that the display can dynamically change how many times it's refreshing per second. So for instance, if you're watching a YouTube video, the MacBook Pro can drop down to as low as 24 frames per second. And let's say you're scrolling or playing a high intense game, the display can ramp up to a full 120 hertz, which means smoother animations when maneuvering through the OS, or smoother animations overall when playing games. So. Promotion is going to make things a lot better and nicer when it comes to um, high motion, lots of motion going on on the display. And it can cap at a thousand nits of sustained brightness, so the overall display will be brighter for everyday tasks. But when you're watching HDR content, it can reach up to 1600 nits, which is as much as the iPhones we have around now. So it's basically like having a giant iPhone display quality, but on your laptop. The next thing I want to go over is the speakers and microphones on this MacBook. So the new MacBook Pro offers six speakers, four force canceling woofers and two tweeters. These speakers sound really nice and they have really good bass overall. So the sound quality is impressive for the size this machine is and on the 16 inch model it's even better because of the larger overall enclosure and the microphones on this macbook are three studio quality microphones so overall they're going to be able to have higher quality audio recordings and this video actually is being recorded off the microphones of the 14 inch macbook pro so this kind of gives you an idea of how they will sound if you're trying to if you're looking into buying one or any of that so overall though they do have high quality sounding microphones and really great speakers and not to mention these speakers also have Dolby Atmos audio so it gives this cool spatial around effect for music or movies that support it another nice upgrade to this macbook pro has to do with the cooling system so the newer macbook pros now have a dual fan system with plenty of ventilation for airflow to come through and according to apple even at lower fan speeds the the fans can move up to 50 percent more air which is going to benefit you especially when you're doing more intense workflows that require more processor intensive activity so you can keep that sustained performance without having your laptop overheat and since apple silicon is very efficient these fans barely need to be used so that is a plus 
with this MacBook. And another thing is you can get up to eight terabytes of storage. Obviously that's gonna increase the price, but if you do need more storage, this MacBook can give you up to eight terabytes and the base model comes with 512 gigabytes. So you do have a lot of um, flexibility with configuring the MacBooks when you go through Apple. So if you do want to configure more of the specs, it's better to go through Apple's site to get more options that work better for you. The biggest things to mention is that the MacBook Pro did get a redesign in 2021 and that has carried on to the 2023 model. So the overall design has been refined. The overall body is a little thicker to accommodate the improved performance, the bigger fan system and all that stuff. So this design is what's offer offering you those ports and it overall it looks nice it's very industrial and you don't feel like it's just gonna break it's a very well built computer and another cool thing about the keyboard is they did have the keyboard in an anodized black well so the keys just stand out and pop since you got the back of the keyboard so overall it's a pretty nice design and the apple logo is now all black so it stands out more and it's bigger and then if you look at the bottom of the MacBook Pro, it does have it, its name engraved into the metal. So that is a nice touch by Apple. Finally, let's talk about the price. So the 14 inch MacBook Pro base model starts at $2,000 and the 16 inch starts at $2,500. So it's a little bit more money than like the 13 inch MacBook Pro, but I think overall you're getting a lot more value in this laptop compared to the 13 inch. When it comes to the display, speakers, design, the ports, you're kind of getting all the boxes checked on this laptop. And there are many good reviewers out there that you can watch who will give you a full in-depth overview of this laptop. Anyways, guys, Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.